today is all about a whole lot of concealers and foundations that just were not good at all. We better get into this because I've got quite a few things to say about this one. All right, so I tried a lot more than this, but these are the ones that stood out that were really not good at all. And I just had to share them with you today because honestly, I try so many foundations, so many concealers. There was a time in this year where I was like throwing all of my concealers away, but I did try a few. I've got my little butterfly upside down. By the way, if I can find these earrings, I will try to link them, but they were a gift. They're so dang cute, but I don't know if I can find them. I'll try for you guys. Okay, the shirt, I can't. The shirt can be linked, so we're good there. All right, so let's start out with one of the worst. This one is the CC Cream from The Cream Shop Full Coverage Age Defense Moisturizing SPF 30 Light. This was probably the worst oxidation that I have ever seen in any sort of a CC Cream foundation, anything. It was so bad. I put it on. It is dark to begin with, orange to begin with anyway. I color corrected it and within five to ten minutes it was so dark and so orange. It was horrible. I do not like that one at all. Then there was one from Morphe that came out this year and I don't even remember what it's called. Filter, I think. Filter foundation, something like that. This one um, not only was it not a good color which i color i color correct with my color corrections and i'll make sure i link that video for you below but this one was just really thick and very hard to blend across my mature skin it did not look filtered it i i just couldn't make it look anything but patchy and it did not wear well sank into lines did not like that one. This one from Physicians Formula, the, the Butter Believe It. Again, color was awful. Color was so, so orange. And I almost, you know, could not color correct something like this that was so bad. But what even was worse about it was that it felt greasy on my very dry skin. And that's saying something because I have extremely dry, mature skin. And it just felt greasy and it did not feel good on my skin and did not lay well on my skin either. Another one was the Tarte. This is the Hydroflex uh, Tarte C from that, um, the C line that they have. And this one I had really high hopes for because I had seen several people say that it was their, in their favorites of 2021. Well, it was not my favorite of 2021. It didn't even make it onto the bottom of the bo bottom list. It's just really patchy as it goes on. It feels hydrating, yes, but it also doesn't give any coverage whatsoever. So I would say that it's a very light coverage, but at the same time, I just felt again like it was oily. And that's not a good feel for me. I don't like that at all. This one from Estee Lauder. This is their double wear. A lot of people love this one. The sheer long wear makeup with the broad spectrum SPF of 19. This one, again, I just, I like a little bit of extra coverage because I do have quite a bit of discoloration and texture and all that stuff that you get as you age. And this one just didn't work for me and it felt very drying on my skin. So this one was a no-go for me as well. The one from Revlon, the Color Stay Light Cover Foundation. Oh man, this one was really bad. There wasn't even a light coverage on here. Usually with a light coverage, you can... Uh, put the first coat on and then the second coat and you can get just it to look a little bit nicer Not with this one. I just yeah, I didn't like it at all. It settled into my fine lines almost immediately It was not a good one for me at all the one from flower beauty the get real um, What is this one called? This is the get real serum foundation they need to get real with their formula. I could not make this one even look even like it was anything other than just a tinted moisturizer, but it didn't even look like a pretty tinted moisturizer where you just put it on. It just, it's so watery and so fluid that there was nothing to it. It made my pores look like they were dotty. You know, that look where that was not a good look either. Another one that I didn't care for that I don't have anymore is the Milani Screen, I think it's Screen Queen. 
that one was terrible for the way that it laid across my mature skin too it just showed up all kinds of texture um, I really can't think of any others while we're doing this. I know that there were others that I took back, but they just didn't work for me. So while we're doing this, if I can think of any, I'll make sure that I tell you about them. Now, here are the concealers that didn't work for me. This little concealer quad thing that from Flower Beauty. I don't know exactly what they were trying to do with this, but this didn't work at all for me. It didn't color correct with the color that was supposed to be in there. It did nothing for my under eyes. There was no coverage to it whatsoever. I just was really disappointed and I had very high hopes and I think I tried two or three different colors of this from the very fair to like medium and that didn't work at all. This one right here is in the box because I did take it out and try it. This is the Kylie, um, the one that they had right before they, I believe right before they revamped everything and they were actually giving this out. <laughs> that should tell you something as a part of people's orders and this is terrible i think i don't even know if you can get this anymore so this is the skin concealer um it just broke apart very quickly and didn't cover hardly at all from kiko milano this one is the full coverage concealer that you get in a pot this one i think i could have made it work but i felt like after just a very short time it creased on me so and it dries out really quickly in the pot too i actually when i got this out today to do this video i had to break like a film across it because it had dried on the top so it's it's pretty good coverage but it did crease really quickly so that one is a no-go by the way all of these are getting um decluttered as soon as i'm done doing this this one from pure the push-up uh four in one sculpting concealer i thought i'd really like this and i can make this one work but it just doesn't it's not the best look on my skin it's very serum like and the coverage is okay but i did have to be really careful with its oxidation and it really turned dark really quickly so that one you know under your eyes you want brightening you don't want anything to turn darker and you can already see on my skin right there how that's turning dark so that one had a problem with oxidation from nude skin i got this one during the big sales and this one didn't work either this one's extremely dry this one is their cream concealer. It just says nude, nude fix cream concealer has a doe foot applicator. I just didn't feel like this one, um, covered without looking cakey. It just looked really cakey on my skin. This one from Morphe two, the hide and peak concealer was just as bad as the foundation. And again, the color was bad to begin with, but it oxidized really quickly too, but very, very drying on that one. So I could not use that one at all. And then I had heard really good things about this one from Revlon, Revlon Photo Ready Eye Primer and Brightener. It was supposed to be kind of a dupe for the Touche Claw from YSL. I don't find that it was brightening at all. I don't feel like there was any coverage in there. I don't feel like there was anything except for just a watery mess that rubbed away all of my other makeup and made my under eyes look worse. Didn't like that one at all. And then the um, new original Bare Minerals, the one that they put out about the same time that they put out the new foundation. I don't like the new foundation and I don't like the new concealer either. It just, it goes on okay and it looks okay when you first put it on. But then just very shortly into it, it dries out and it looks like kind of a mess really quickly and just couldn't handle that one. I did try from Huda Beauty, one of theirs as well. I can't see these. I don't know why I'm taking my glasses on and off. From Huda Beauty, the Overachiever Concealer. I thought I would really like this one, but unfortunately this one, it has a nice tip on it that is cooling. But I think this one might have caffeine or something in it because... It felt like it was very drying on my under eyes as well very quickly and just couldn't do that one either and then the last one that I have to share with you and yes I know I went through all of these really fast but basically it's all the it's always the same problem they it, they look cakey they look drying they crease something on the under eye that makes them look so horrid that my under eyes look like they're like 15 years older than they actually are so the one from mac the pro Longwear concealer this one was too drying as well i love the new um i think it's the new studio fix 
foundation that I got from MAC. I love it. But this one is just, it's not good because I think it's just the long wearing that when they talk about that, that's what it is. Plus the coverage on this one, it wasn't great for me. And I don't like to have to put more than a coat on. As a matter of fact, I like to put just very minute dots on of any sort of concealer and then have it have good coverage but not cake up and i had to put too much of this on in order for it to cover and then obviously even if i smile or you know throughout the day if i sweat a little bit it creases so that was the last one and yes i did go really fast through these it's not that hard for me to tell very quickly if a foundation or a concealer is going to be very bad and all of these were very bad and so those are the ones that you can steer clear of give this video a thumbs up if you do like seeing the ones that weren't that great for me i do have a video coming of the best of the concealers and the foundations of 2021 that will be coming fa fairly shortly and i hope that you do enjoy seeing that thank you guys so much for being with me today i love you to pieces and i'll talk to you in my next video bye friends